Hello and welcome to Disshelved with Adam White. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the author Benjamin Percy. Uh, I talked about one of his novellas last week uh, called North Border and I really enjoyed it. And at the back I read his bio and it just looked like he was kind of an indie author with some comics that he'd written too and I didn't think anything of it and then I got on and looked him up and he's written all sorts of stuff. Uh, he's written several novels and uh, he had written two other novellas and uh, he's written Wolverine and X-Force for Marvel Comics. He wrote a long run on Green Arrow for DC Comics during their rebirth era which I actually had read but just never made the connection with his name because uh, it's been a while since I read them and it, granted they've changed the continuity since then but uh, he did a good job with uh, what he did with Rebirth with Green Arrow and I, I just thought I'd take this time to talk about some of his other stuff because I thought he really deserved getting his due after I kind of just you know thought he was an indie author and uh, didn't have much else in, in the way of reading so I read several of the other things now let this be a lesson to you if you're a booktuber uh, if you're talking about an author do your research before you make the video uh, because that helps and doesn't make you look stupid like this did this week with me. <laughs> uh, so anyway, you can sort of see the cover here, The Ninth Metal by Benjamin Percy. Uh, the Ninth Metal was an excellent novel. Uh, it's got one sequel out and another sequel that's getting ready to come out, which probably should be soon after this video airs. And uh, it's the first trilogy in what might be a series of trilogies. Uh, and anyway, the story of the Ninth Metal goes is there's this uh, comet type thing that breaks up and crashes on Earth. And is made up of this metal that's like nothing you've ever seen before. Uh, and it's called the Ninth Metal or Omni Metal. And it lands in a place in Minnesota in this small town and so everybody immediately moves in on it. You've got the three top uh, companies that move in on it which is the government, big business, and religion. And <laughs> that's the first three bunches that would be involved uh, were such a thing to actually happen because this metal has all sorts of properties that lets it charge itself so it works well for batteries and uh, they build a like a bullet train that runs under its own energy f just by the friction uh, that's all just right in the beginning they talk about that but anyway understandably there's lots of millions and billions of dollars to be made with this uh, with this metal so the main story is about the Frontier family who own a mining company and want to get their hands especially on the biggest load of Omni Metal in this one place, but the woman that owns it won't sell. And uh, another company called The Black Dog, I think. Uh, and... It's run by a guy from Texas, and they want the same land, too, and they want to get all, their hands on all the metal. Needless to say, it turns violent, and which it probably would, and because everything else in this world is pretty much the same as ours. It takes place in pretty much present day, and it's just, what if this one scenario happened, and... Um, this metal came about well you've got several main characters and I don't want to say a whole lot about them because there's lots of surprises in store the way he writes this is incredible uh, every time you read a new when you read the first several chapters you're given kind of the backstory for some of the characters 
that are the main ones throughout the story. And you don't know any of the connections to uh, between those characters. And as you read the book with each ch new chapter, you get new information that gives you kind of an oh moment that you didn't know about something that happened in the chapters before. And he does that almost every chapter and gives you something new to think about and a new way to look at the characters and the story. And I thought it was just really excellent. I, I really, I, I'm sorry that I hadn't read it before now because I thought it was just awesome. And it you just you continue that way throughout the book and you get some really big surprises but uh the main character probably is John Frontier who comes back from being in the army and he had not wanted anything to do with his family but he's coming back for a wedding and of his sister and his family of course is like super rich because they're in mining and now with these omni metal that they've got their hands on some of they're just loaded but he doesn't want anything to do with them and so he's in the army now and he intends on leaving as soon as the wedding's over but things go awry and of course that doesn't happen but really interesting things happen with this character uh and there's a kid who's 15 named Hawken. Uh, you get a little bit of his backstory right at the beginning, and then he ties in with some other people, and just, you get, and there's a few other main characters too, but you just get more and more of the story as you go on. I'm not going to say a whole lot more about it because I don't want to give anything away. It's an excellent, excellent book, and you really should give it a try. I can't rate, wait to read the sequels. Uh, the Ninth Medal, Benjamin Percy, very excellent. Something else he then wrote was Wereworld. This also has art by Francesco Francavia, which again automatically shows class to the book. Uh, it's about uh, people becoming werewolves and it's kind of like a pandemic. And you get a full year of this one character's life. I and mean, it's a short story. I mean, it's a novella. So, I mean, you can read it in one setting. It doesn't take that long to read. But each, uh, each month is accompanied by a uh, piece of art. Let me see if I can get to the first one here. Like, here's the first one. And... They just have really great, uh, it's done by month, so this is January, and it just, it's a really great novella. It builds up the suspense really well. Uh, you get a full sense of the characters, even though there's not, uh, you know, a lot to it. I mean, it's a pretty short novella. But it's a really excellent story, and it's about what happens to people when they don't know who could turn against them as a werewolf at the full moon each month. And, you know, it, it's just how far would people go to protect themselves? How could you protect yourself even from your own family if you had to? So it's a really great story, uh, a short novella. Uh, I also want to show you his other one, if I can get it to come up. don't need that. Well, it's called American Criminal. It's about a guy who's a thief that uh, robs from basically bad rich people and he gets, he, the whole thing is written as a letter to an FBI agent that has apparently captured him 
and made him work for the FBI. Now, that doesn't really give anything away. Uh, you find that out fairly early on with the going, but what's interesting is the main character and the things that he does, the way he sets up his marks. Uh, this is a little bit longer novella than what uh, Werewolf was. And it has accompanying art by Michael Gatos, who is probably best known for co-creating Jessica Jones and the comic Alias with Brian Michael Bendis. Uh, a really excellent series that I recommend reading. Maybe one day I'll do a thing on it. But uh, excellent, excellent artist. So, I mean, he, he's really going out of his way to get excellent artists to illustrate these short novellas that he does. And uh, it really adds something to them. But anyway, it involves lots of different situations where uh, both when he's working on his own and when he's working for the FBI. And uh, it just, I can't say much about it because like I said at the length, I don't want to give anything away. But the character is really, the main character is really interesting. The secondary characters are very interesting you get a real full story of their lives in a short amount of words. Uh, and he really does just such an excellent job with this. I really, really enjoyed this American criminal story. Uh, and like I said, his North Border story that I talked about last week was excellent too. And uh, most of the stories that he's written take place in Minnesota, where I, I'm pretty sure he lives now. But uh, it really gives you a good sense of place, too. And uh, the, the kind of people that live there and how some things are hidden in plain sight. But really excellent story. You can get all three of these, uh, uh, American Criminal and Where World and uh, North Border on on the Kindle. I, I'm pretty sure they're all only 99 cents a piece. It'll be the best three bucks you spend this week, this month probably, if you get these because they're really awesome stories and I highly, highly recommend them. And I also highly recommend the Ninth Medal and its sequels. Excellent story, excellent characters. You never see what's coming next in it. You just really get um, just real surprises every time you read a new chapter in it. And I think that's what the best books do, is give you something new each chapter to see the story in a new light. And just really excellent. Ninth Metal, excellent, excellent book. Benjamin Percy's an excellent author. Uh, I, I recommend any of his work, uh, his comic stuff too. Uh, I'm going to go back and reread Green Arrow. And because uh, I've got all those, in his whole run in trade paperbacks, but uh, on my iPad. So, uh, Anyway, Benjamin Percy, excellent author. I thought I'd give him his due this week uh, because I was so misinformed when I did my video last week. So, uh, again, let that be a lesson. Do your homework first, <laughs> then do your video. But anyway, I'm glad I did. Be, I'm glad it happened that way because I really enjoyed reading these stories. And I really think you'll get a kick out of them, too. So check out Benjamin Percy and anything he's written. He's written a few other novels, too. I've already downloaded a couple of them to read. So don't be surprised if you hear about them again sometime in the future on this channel. Anyway, I've gone on long enough. But thank you for hanging out with me this week. Definitely check out Benjamin Percy. And I will see you guys next week.